Hello and welcome to my uh, Big Reactors 101. I'll only go into uh, a specific passive react uh, passively cooled reactor which works very well for me. So if you want to go with actively cooled reactors that will be a later 101. Okay, uh, this is the reactor I'm talking about. It's a high efficiency starting reactor. As you can see, it uses quite a lot of materials to build. Yes, you can build it much, much smaller, but you won't get as much energy out of it. Important things to know. The fuel rods can only send as far as three, uh, uh, um, three meter from their place. So that's why I have the wall four meters out. So one, two, three, four, and then the wall. This is what uses up a lot of the uh, building blocks. You have a large casing and only a few rods. Also, yes, it's just one high. I tested um, with uh, five few rods and uh, five high. It didn't work very well. It used four times as much um, yellorium for the same amount of energy. So, what's cooled? You have a uh, gelid creatheum here. All this is stacked with gelid creatheum. I didn't place gelid creatheum here. That's why it's flowing. So it's just from the fuel rods to the wall in a straight line. This line over here and this line over here and of course between the fuel rods. Also important, don't place them adjacent to each other. Use a checkerboard because else they will uh, poison each other. Um, it's just not worth to start with uh, one fuel rod alone five is the minimum, else you would get somewhere around 600 RF per tick for a reactor uh, not much smaller than this one. This one is 13, 13 times 13, so 170 blocks, 169 blocks, uh, three blocks high, which is over 500 blocks for an output of 3K. It just started and in a matter of a few seconds it goes to full power. It runs at 180 degrees Celsius, gives you 3000 RF per tick and uses a mere 30, 37 micro buckets per tick. And the efficiency is at 375% really, which is Im uh, Im amazing. Um, simple, your reactor access port, automatic ejection. I take the energy directly uh, to a tesseract with an ender energy conduit, which is enough for this build. And here is uh, the control. I use three redstone ports because in the uh, mod pack I'm using, that's the way to go. It's a very simple setup. This one is to set to give an, um, a signal when it is below 1%. Yes, 1% is enough because um, it runs this well. This one gives a signal when it's above 95%. So whenever this uh, the signal comes, it's either because it's fallen below its standard or raised above the standard. And this one is set to toggle on pulls. The reactor is either shut down once it reaches above 95% energy full or it should uh, it's and uh, toggled on when it fell falls below 1% energy. Important, set it to pulls. This way, uh, if you fall 
to uh, below 1% for too long or uh, above 95% for too long it won't uh, make problems now this will run for a certain time till it's full then it reaches 95% shuts off and so on this way I can uh, control very very well uh, how much energy I use so now you ask 3000 RF per tick isn't a lot for this area no it isn't bad if you stop the reactor take out this creotherm and this creotherm and you have to be a bit careful or use a magnet or something to recover the stuff you can easily go out another two here another two there add a few more fuel rods and voila you go from 5 to um, 13 by just going out two more in each direction and this increase your uh, production to somewhere around 8 or 9 kilo RF per tick there it reached 95 percent and it shut down it continues producing a bit a tiny bit till it has fallen below a certain point so the best is to let it wait till it fall, fell to almost one percent or one percent uh, you have to test a bit uh, depending on your energy usage uh, it will uh, be worse or better to set this not at one percent to five percent or that such a thing it all depends on your setup if you have more questions go on um, one question that will show up is this better than a, a turbine version well n probably not I can get 80 RF 80 mega RF per bucket which is good you might be able to pull off uh, a better thing with uh, turbines so with an actively cooled uh, reactor but you have to start somewhere don't you and this is much much better than the standard uh, one so I hope this helped a bit have a nice day